So let's go with Coco Wong. Oh, Didi is here. Didi Wong is uh, the sister. She's also a high power. Thing. I'll talk about her later. So Coco Wong is uh, one of the top 100 uh, uh, women, female entrepreneurs in China. And Hong Kong is part of China. She was born in UK and she's also women of the decade. So Coco is, she specialized in uh, creativity, customer service and uh, sales and all that. So round of course with the high sounding, the, the incredible Coco Wong. Where you Are go? you ready guys? I'm ready for you Coco. Okay, let's go. I am too sexy for my love. Too <laughs> sexy. My love's going to leave. Come on, guys. Let's move it. Have some fun. Okay. Ready to party? Yeah. Who wants more business? Who wants a happy stuff? Put in a one in the comments. Come on, put in a one. Participate. Okay. I'm going to start by telling you that I'm very sexy. <laughs> that song I love because it actually reminds me being sexy and feeling good and being looked at. I remember I was studying in Japan and um, I was miserable there. It was the, like, the worst year of my life. I was so lonely because I didn't speak a word of Japanese then. But every morning I'll put on this headphone. Okay, I'm showing you my age. I put on headphones and I'll be skipping along to I'm Too Sexy because it just made me feel good. And I think that this is like the best, best music or song for my topic, look at me, okay? Because we need people to look at us. We need people to see our brands. We need people to remember us, okay? So put in a one if you want more business, if you want customers to remember you as soon as they think of your niche, okay? Whether it's food, whether you are in um, retail, clothing, restaurants, airlines, what, whenever they think of you, that each they think of you, okay? Let me know if you want that because I'm going to tell you exactly how to get people to remember you. And I'm going to tell you a secret right now. Actually, people do remember. We remember everything since birth, actually since before birth, prenatal. But it's the ability to recall that is going to be different. That is going to make it work for us okay so it's how do we make people recall us we put in what i call trigger points we put in things that would trigger their memory so for example when people are studying for exams okay just past exam time but when you study for exams you remember everything when you're going through you're sitting in the class everything goes into our brain but it's the ability to recall it when you need it that is tricky so we give people tips we give people hints to help them recall things, okay? So the more trigger points that you put into your messages, the more easily they will recall you. And remember this, people remember us from what, how we make them feel. Not about our products, not about our, how cheap it was or what, what uh, the details of our products, but they remember us from the feeling that they got, okay? So that's a very, very important point. So COVID, many, many businesses have been impacted by COVID. Um, travel, food, and retail, those are really hard hit. So, um, but there are also industries that bloomed from COVID. So how do we look at this? And it's all about the mindset, okay? So many people and many businesses like to shrink in times of trouble because they, they're cost cutting, they're thinking how to, um, how to cut this, cut. And often they cut customer service because that's a like non-money um, generating area, okay? And um, some shrink so much that they no longer exist, right? Some of the biggest names in history actually have to close during this time. However, this is the time I feel that we should grow. We should grow in areas that we excel in. So how do we do that? First of all, customer service. 
is the most important part of our business and what is customer service? So type in your answers in the chat so that I know uh, what everyone's thinking. What is customer service to you? Okay. But to me, customer service is literally put in the simplest form, making your customer feel good. Okay. That's the point of customer service. So in the old days, the old way of customer service is reactive. They come to us, they come to the customer service desk when they have a problem, when they have a question, and we choose that, right? And we make everyone happy by solving their, their problems and their questions as best we can, and they are happy. So in good times, that is fine. Everyone can do that well. But what about bad times? We, what do we need to do with customer service when there's no customers? They, they don't even want to buy. They don't even want to come to us. So what do we do in customer service? So that's why a lot of companies shrink down. But we need to be actively going to our customers. So we need to actively go to the customers and present to them what we have. We have to anticipate, we have to think, what are our customers going through? We put ourselves in their shoes and that's the new way. We offer things that they haven't even thought about. We offer solutions that we feel will help their pain. So that is customer service. Okay, so people again will remember us from how they them feel. So if we are there during this bad time, they will remember us. They will recall that we were there for them during this bad time. We were there to serve them even 200% more than we used to. And that is customer service. So who are your customers? Two groups, right? Internal. So this morning we talked a lot about internal customers, our employees, our colleagues, our staff. And these are the most important customers you will ever get. Why? Because basically, if you imagine, you see my airplane, we've got Change Your E Academy Airlines now, okay? So we're all sitting in an airplane. What happens when an oxygen mask comes down? Do we do it for ourselves first or do we help others first? Okay, so recall the moment when you're sitting on the airplane and you're thinking that, okay, air hostess, I know this bit, I don't need to watch you. But what do they say? They always say, put it on yourself first and then you go help others. So we help our internal customers first and then they can help our external customers, okay? So without helping ourselves, we cannot help others. So we have to put all our energy in taking care of our employees. We have to help them. We have to understand what they're going through. So Michelle shared a lot about working at home as a mom. I'm a mom, so I sit at home as well. So my daughter's been coming in, I go on and on. So I was going, no, 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 get out. So what are they going through? How are we gonna show the employees that we care? So these are an example, local example of an ice cream um, brand, okay? So they actually did work at home packages of ice cream for their employees and wrote a note and they put it on social media. So everyone saw it. So it's not just that employees are feeling loved. Everyone who is on social media will see that these are people who cares about people. So nowadays with the millennials or whoever, we like to work with companies. We like to use companies that care. So they gave their grab drivers ice cream before they do delivery. So it's all about just caring. And that will actually elevate that sense of love and, 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 and everything and the warm, fuzzy feeling that you get when you feel like, oh my God, this is so sweet, right? And that gives the nice feeling for the brand. So again, internal customers, when they are happy, they will have a positive mindset to help you serve your external customers. Because if they are down or they are sad, imagine them talking to your customers. They don't have energy. Yes, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go to that aisle. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, I have running out of this food. That is not what you want your internal customers to give to your external. So remember them. We have to take care of them. Dr. Henry said this morning, your people are the most important people. So I um, agree 200%. So um, for example, I was training a, a team of call center customer service here, and they were telling me how frustrated they were getting to talk on these phone calls because everything they get is complaints. But it was when they understood how they could lift themselves up 
from that mindset and how I gave them little tips on what they can do in order to turn that negative, like drain the thought into a happy, positive, energetic um, tone, that changed their lives. That made it so much easier for them to serve their customers. And now I move on to external customers. So what do they want? How are we gonna make them remember us? By being different, okay? So you won't be remembered by being safe. Neutral is boring. No one remembers neutral, okay? So dare to stand out. You need to give them trigger points, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, again, we're going to talk about um, the, so is everyone seeing me on the screen? <laughs> so we're going on our airlines again, okay? So when you are in an aircraft crash, if you can see me, what do they give you apart from the life jacket? Okay, so type in the comments what they give you. So they give you usually a whistle and a light, right? So my light is not coming on, but light. So light, light, okay? So imagine. How are you going to attract them by whistling and by waving a light? Why do you need these? Okay, because the whistle makes sure that they are hearing you and the light makes sure that they are seeing you, right? So we put on our life jacket. We put on our um, whistle and light so that people can see us and people can remember us, right? So um, one least uh, example I really like is by giving them an experience something that is totally different and this is what Tiger Beer did so I'm not sure if those in Malaysia whether you are aware of the street food virtual festival so I joined and you get a Tiger Beer for re re recommending people to join join as well but it's a partnership they had a lot of street food from Penang from KL from Selangor and you can actually wander down the street talk to people there are games in there and it's a very very interactive way of selling tiger beer okay so they had like different online games I spent one hour trying to play this online game just to get a beer and um, I didn't work but anyway this is like new experience that people like and this is what I call selling without selling, okay? Because everything we are doing, everything that we are putting out there, whether it's from or from ourselves or from anyone, basically we are a sales pitch, okay? We are a walking sales pitch. So we need to put in like the hooks, what Faris just said, the story, the compelling story, and then we have to make them an offer so that they can spy from us okay so we should be doing something that at the end they just say okay take my credit card just take my money okay just i want to buy from you you make me feel good so what is that it's as simple as a b c okay a b c system to sales that's my new <laughs> terminology for this event so what is a b c okay a, it's as simple as a b c a your audience what type of audience are you targeting Cold, warm, or hot? Cold meaning they've never heard of you. They don't know you exist, okay? So how are we getting to them? Where are they? Um, warm audience, those who do know about you, never bought from you, but how are we getting to them? And then hot ones, the ones that are already buying from us. They are previous customers. They're existing ones. So how do we deal with them? Where are they? My daughters always say to me, old people are on Facebook. And I went, oh my God, <laughs> because I'm always on Facebook. But to her, if you're targeting the teenagers, you have to be on TikTok or you need to go on IG. Or if you are serious, then LinkedIn. So where are your audience? We go and find them to where they are. Then we talk about their biggest pain, okay? Not about the solution, but about the biggest pain. No one cares about the solution. So for example, if you've got a toothache and you're going to the dentist, you don't care how the dentist takes away that pain as long as he takes away the pain. Whether he's gonna do an injection, whether he's gonna put something in it or take a tooth out, as long as he takes it away the pain, he doesn't care. So remember that when your audience has a pain, we need to take it away, but not just giving them the solution, but just telling them, this is our promise to you. We will take away your pain. 
Then the third one, which I find the most important for nowadays is customization because everyone wants to feel special. Everyone wants to the attention. So uh, Faris also said, give, give a trainer a mic and you can never control him or her because we love attention. I love sitting here talking to you because I love that attention. Everyone's focused on me, right? So how are we going to give that same feeling to our customers? So we customize. Imagine walking into a hotel and they already put out all your favorite sheets and, and hotels that can let you um, choose your pillow, whether it's hard, soft, or, or foamy, or whatever. You can choose what you like, and everything is like, dear Coco, and um, welcome to... Um, uh, welcome to XYZ Hotel. Uh, we love welcoming here. And here's a glass of champagne just to welcome you. We like those special touches. We love those. We remember. So we do that. We don't want to give them the one size fits all when it comes to selling and customization. And um, we have to make them feel special. So I, I have a lot of customers who then ask me, how do we do customization when we're a large corporation? Because customization takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, and a lot of costs. Yeah. So, but actually, we can. We can actually customize and scale. And here's how. We have to understand what level of unawareness your customer is at. So we have a look at, the, there are five different levels, right? So totally unaware. So I'm going to give you an example for exa uh, cleaning products, okay? So for example, you'd be cleaning all your life with detergent. So how do you, they don't know there's any danger or there's any better or worse, right? But then you tell them, chemical, the more you use, you, the more um, susceptible to cancer you are. Okay, so they're going from totally unaware to problem aware. So using chemicals is a problem. So now they have problem aware. So what are they thinking now? What, what solutions are there? So we offer them solutions. That's when we bring in our solutions, not our products, but our solutions. So it, without cleaning products, what can we use? We can use organic cleaning products or we can use uh, chemical free cleaning products or we just use water and forget about, or we just forget about cleaning, okay? So those are different solutions. Now they're solution aware. So now comes the product part. What are you offering that is different? So for example, if you're offering chemical-free cleaning products, um, fiber technology, for example, so you tell them the benefits compared to the other solutions, what this does, how this helps them. So for, for chemicals uh, free, it might be when you're washing with chemicals, you're getting cancer. Yes, you can get organic ones, but are you sure that these organic cleaning products are safe? Would you drink out of it? Or you can choose this fiber. It just uses water and you can clean away and remove everything without the risk of having any chemicals at all. Okay, then they know the product. Then comes the fully awareness. They're fully aware of the problem, the solution, the product, now comes the testimonials. That's when your customers can give you testimonials to prove that you will work, this will work. That's how you are. So each of these levels require a different message, a different way to talk to them, and a different way to present to them. Okay, so this is one last, this, uh, one last thing. Um, people do not remember neutral okay this is the only thing i need you to remember today people do not remember neutral they remember difference steve said we have to get the old way out in order to get the new things in true and in order to get the new things in you have to be different so i have been using a lot of trigger points in this um uh, presentation so to help you remember me and I have one thing to say, keep innovating, keep adapting, keep changing, and you'll be okay. So thank you very much. I look forward to working with you. My name is Coco Wong, and they call me the creative closer. Thank you.